Hey everybody, welcome back to ConductorPlugin.com. Today we're finally releasing our support for Beaver Builder and Conductor, which means you'll be able to use uh, the Conductor Query Builder, either Widget or Advanced Builder, right here inside of Beaver Builder with full support. Uh, we are going to demo this on the free version of Beaver Builder, which means that, yes, it's going to work for, on the free version of Beaver Builder. Great for folks who maybe only use the free version of Beaver Builder for some basic layouts. Uh, so it really enhances your uh, capacity or your capabilities with the free version of Beaver Builder. But for those of you who have the pro version uh, of Beaver Builder, it works there too. And there, there is a little bit of overlap between some of the stuff that Conductor does and some of the things that Beaver Builder does, but we'll clear some of that air today with showing you some examples of what Conductor can do inside of Beaver Builder. Let's dive right in. All right, in this first example, I want to show you how to display a grid of WordPress posts. It can be posts or pages or custom post types, uh, but it is important to note that in the free version of Beaver Builder, there is no uh, post module, which you will get in the pro version of Beaver Builder. Uh, but again, if you're just using Conductor on the free version of Page Builder of Beaver Builder, uh, this will be a great example. So I'm going to bring in the Conductor Query module here. I'm going to show many posts. I'm going to go fairly fast because we have a bunch of uh, videos on creating these groups of content, but I'm gonna show eight posts. And then on my output, I'm gonna switch it to columns, and I am gonna switch this to four columns, and then we'll see our uh, post grid start to set up in the back end. And then I'm gonna switch the content. Instead of showing all the content, I'm gonna switch it to the excerpt, save that. And we'll be able to see this stuff take shape here. You can see the featured image, post title, author byline, excerpt, and read more link. A lot of these posts here don't have a uh, featured image. Uh, but that's okay. We can do things like hide the featured image if we don't want to see any of this stuff, uh, hide the excerpt field if we don't want to see any of that stuff either. And I can even rearrange this if for whatever reason I want to put the author byline above the post title, I can do that. So Conductor really gives you that granular control over the output of content, which you won't get uh, fully in even the advanced module uh, that comes with Beaver Builder Pro. Uh, so it's just a different take on displaying this content, uh, you know, if you so desire. We can also switch this up if, you know, if we wanna show custom post types, like I have this custom post type cars right here, we can switch that display and you'll see here, it changed that output to my cars custom post type and I can configure that to, or reconfigure that to show the featured image because I think these have more featured images, they do. So you can see that uh, take shape right there. So that's creating a grid uh, of posts with conductor inside of Beaver Builder. Uh, again, it's a different take on maybe displaying posts that you might uh, not get with the advanced version of Beaver Builder, but certainly can't get in the free version. All right, another reason why you might want to use conductor with uh, Beaver Builder is the ability to display uh, custom fields from custom post types uh, in your WordPress website. So again, this is my conductor query. It's showing my custom post type called cars. I created this using the pods plugin. It works with any custom post type maker, or custom field maker, advanced custom fields, pods, so on and so forth. But you can see right here, my cars custom post type is really fairly straightforward. I've got an engine custom field. I have a mileage custom fields, and these are just two plain text custom fields, but I'm going to show you how to display that really quick. Um, if I come into my custom field search box, I just start searching for engine. You can see that custom field pop up. And the other one was mileage. So I'm going to search for that one as well. And it's just going to add that right to this list. And you see these populate right here in the front end. So that's all you have to do by searching and adding those fields in. It'll automatically dis display that into our uh, conductor grid. If I wanted to label this, I could. I could just come right in here and type in engine and save that. I could click on the label here and do mileage and you'll see that adds uh, the label to the left hand side here in our uh, in our Beaver Builder view. And at any point I can rearrange this so I can put the mileage above the engine and that'll just revert that there. I can bring this read more down uh, right below that if I wanted to. And I can even change this label and say click to view instead of read more because this is much more of like a directory or sort of inventory uh, style of a site. So that's it. It's conductor using the custom post type, or excuse me, the custom fields add-on uh, and displaying those in uh, a four column grid. And right along the same lines as displaying your custom post types with custom fields, uh, conductor, conductor can build a grid of your WooCommerce products. So if I wanted to show many products uh, and I wanted to show, let's say again, I'm just going to do Ford and keep it nice and clean, change the output to, I'll switch it to columns as well and we'll go down to four columns. 
these are my mo most recent uh, WooCommerce products right here. And I can just, again, do the same thing. I can hide the uh, stuff that I don't want to see. I can simply start searching for Woo, which will bring up the Woo custom fields uh, information. I can bring in the WooCommerce price. That'll drop in the price. I can bring in the add to cart button. So I just start searching for that. That'll drop in the add to cart button. And if I want to get rid of that um, default WordPress read more link, I can do that as well. And I can then build my uh, grid of WooCommerce products and using the other tools available to me, like uh, a basic module here might be a text editor where I bring in, put that above my products and say, check out our awesome stuff. Highlight that, center, and give it a heading one, save. And that's four WooCommerce products using the Conductor plugin uh, with the WooCommerce add-on, custom fields add-on. I can build these quick grids of WooCommerce products right inside, again, the free, uh, free Beaver Builder uh, plugin or the paid Beaver Builder plugin. Another reason for using Conductor with Beaver Builder is the advanced query builder. We can build these advanced queries um, that you can't do with any of the uh, modules of uh, that come with Beaver Builder and even the simple view of Conductor is a lot more limiting. You know, obviously it is a simple view, but if we switch this to our builder, you can see here we can select from many different uh, post types throughout our website. We can limit this. So in this case, it's showing it uh, only these four posts within uh, WooCommerce. Uh, if I wanted to do some filtering, I could do this where meta and I can just search for price. I know that. Uh, WooCommerce calls it regular price. I can say regular price equals, let's say, three dollars for you know this quick example, and we'll see these uh, fields limit these uh, the display of our conductor query down to these two products, which are both priced at three dollars. This one happens to be on sale, but you can see right here you can build these advanced queries uh, with conductor, and that's very powerful depending on what you need to do. Another content block that conductor supports, which you won't find in either the free or the paid version of uh, Beaver Builder at this time anyway, is the display of contact form entries. And in this example, I'm going to show you Ninja Forms, uh, but it supports Ninja Forms and Gravity Forms. And I do have one or two forms here with some information. This one's called the event registration. And I'm going to switch this to our table display because displaying form data is a little bit better inside of a table. I'm going to give it the enhanced table display and some table headings. I'm going to go ahead and hide all of this default WordPress stuff. If I go into my custom field search and start searching for Ninja Forms, we can see we can bring up all of these fields. And the first one I'll bring in is, let's say, the last name, Ninja Forms, food requirement. This is for like an event registration email. And let's go with one last one. We'll go with that phone number. You can start seeing right back here, uh, all of these fields start to populate. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit save, and hit done, and then publish this, and it will render the JavaScript table, uh, which it won't do in the preview there that you saw before, but it will once you hit save. Uh, and you can see uh, all of our data uh, right here in a nice little sortable table. We can click that, that'll just so sort of sort it by uh, alphabetical order. I can also search for stuff right in this field and it'll render it super fast in some nice Ajax search. Uh, and that's the ability to display form submission data from Ninja Forms or Gravity Forms. Of course, those add-ons will have to be active with your Conductor plugin, uh, but it's available across all licensed plans with Conductor. Check it out. It's conductorplugin.com.